Are you interested in film and television? Well, I know the place for you. Here at Central, we have everything you need to break into the film and television industry. First stop is Certificate 3 in Film and Television, where you'll have a camera in your hands within the first week. You'll be taught everything you need to know about industry standard cameras to become a filmmaker. Central offers industry standard equipment and editing programs for all your filmmaking needs. So you start off with the basics in Certificate 3 and work your way to higher level projects as you reach your diploma stages. And with good vision, you need good sound. You'll learn everything you'll need to know about the sound department, starting from the basics. And then, you'll move on to learning more about mixing on the studio audio desks and about more intricate forms of recording devices. You also get the chance to broaden your knowledge on filmmaking and cinema history. It's a great way to learn the old tricks of Hollywood and inspire you in the possibilities that you can achieve. Hey. Hi. So what course are you doing at the moment? I'm doing Diploma of TV. Oh, so that means you graduated from the Certificate 3 in Film? Yes, I have. What did you think about the course? Oh, it was great. Yeah, what kind of work did you get up to in there? We did a lot of short films, but in order to do the short films, we um, learned about lighting, sound, editing, camera work. And some paperwork, learned how to organise everything, really. Oh, interesting. Sounds like you really enjoyed the course. Yeah. Good luck with your television diploma. Thank you very much. When you reach Certificate 4, you look into the mechanics of the TV industry and studio work. Well, Cert 4 is um, far more professional and it's sophisticated in some ways than Cert 3, which is your establishing formative area of uh, camera work, uh, sound, lighting, all those, those areas. In Cert 4 it goes another step and we enter the studio environment and uh, we look at the, the essential protocols and uh, you know using uh, the, the full studio setup of the battens, the lighting and uh, professional camera gear of course. So it's, it's the, the broadcast television end of that year uh, is taking you to another level. So would you recommend Certificate 4? Yeah, I would, absolutely. Um, I love the hands-on experience and all the practical skills that I learned during the course. Cool. If you decide to go into the Diploma of Screen and Film, you will further your knowledge on all levels making short films until you have chosen a role you wish to specialise in to break into the industry with. We have a really good um, course here that's based around industry. So we teach the students the three stages of pre-production, production and post-production. Um, they get a chance to work on drama films, and music video clips, corporates, as well as television commercials. So, what are your thoughts on Diploma of Film and Screen? We are actually doing quite a few things. Um, this part of the year is mainly focused on the pre-production stages of film. Um, although we have had some exciting opportunities lately. Um, the other day we had some people from advertising companies come in and they gave us some concepts for ideas for commercials and then we basically take that um, with our, uh, by ourselves and see if we can improve it in any way and then we will be creating the commercials and then hopefully someone will get an internship out of that. Oh, okay, so what are you expecting within the second part of the course? The second half will be quite exciting. Um, we're working with the advanced diplomas in making their films where they get, um, I think it's about $12,000 to make a movie and we, we basically get to be the crew so we get to experience what it's like to be on a set and working with you know professional actors and that kind of thing. And, um, and then we're also working on um, various off slates as well and short films. Um, so that'll be quite exciting. We get to be quite creative and use all the fancy equipment. Thank you for your time. But if you decide to go into a Diploma of Television and Broadcasting, you'll learn a range of technologies inside an OB van, where you'll be going out to events such as the AFL to do work experience where you can make industry contacts. We, we multi-shield to be in the industry today because there's no full-time jobs really available today, so we're freelancers. And so we, to be a good freelancer, you need to be multi-skilled. So what we're doing is, because we've got like global television on board, We've got a full television tracker, HD track here, so 
we can train the students to be job ready. Once they finish with us, they can operate the vision desk, they can be te technical directors, they can be producers, audio directors. They're job ready and when they leave us, they can operate in a studio anywhere in the world, anywhere in Australia, or jump into any outside broadcast truck. So it's an opportunity only available here at Central. Uh, it's the only one available in Australia, actually. And when it comes to studio work, you will be introduced to the TriCaster and green screen, as well as TV drama multi-camera shoots. So check out the film and TV courses and get behind the scenes.